What's going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of If There's a Will, There's a Wave. If you follow along with the series, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome aboard. We're restoring this 1973 32-foot Lord's Flybridge Sportfisher that's been sitting for what's seemingly more than two years. That has officially had both of its old engines removed and is well on its wave to be back on the water. In this episode, we complete the final preparations in order to get the engine bay painted. Let's get into it. So this is how the bilge is looking. We finished a second pass cleaning yesterday. Today I'm gonna go ahead and sand all the surfaces with some 220 sandpaper. After that we'll vacuum one more time and we'll hit all the areas with some denatured alcohol, at which point she'll be ready for some paint. So I got all the supplies down here ready to go. I know it looks beautifully organized. Yeah, let's just get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the walls and sand all the walls down first. It's just a little bit of sanding that we need to do. Nothing too serious. I actually bought to make my job easier. We got myself a little palm sander and then we got a more heavy duty one that is also a polisher. This is what we're gonna be using when we start stripping the paint on the outside of the boat, on the exterior paint. And we could probably use this guy too, but this is a little bit more heavy duty. This is more of a future purchase, but if I find use for it today, we'll use it. But I imagine this is gonna be my best friend. After that second cleaning, it's looking pretty good. You know? So what the sanding is supposed to do is basically any of the grease, dirt, grit that I can't get to, like some of this gray stuff, that's basically just gonna knock off that top layer and we'll be able to just vacuum it away. And I did take you guys' advice. I got some resin. This stuff cures in about eight hours. So hardened, not workable within 40 minutes and then cured within eight. So did this yesterday. Did get a little bit of debris in there, unfortunately, because I continued to clean and stuff, but it is what it is. I'm gonna paint over it anyway, so no, no big deal. At least this is now all smooth. This is all one solid piece again. Back here as well. So yeah, it looks good, feels good. It's ready for paint. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. 
Like a vagabond And feeling small Being just a static You feel warm Come at your words Here comes a chill Makes you pander Some say you thrill Clearly a vessel Through and through Shall not foreshadow A common room Wish it was better known Bend like a reed in the wind And look no further than The bitter end First one done. <laughs> it took a lot longer than I expected, as everything does. But check it out. Those results are pretty amazing. The new, the old, and the new. Look how nice that looks. That with a nice uh, white paint job is going to look great. I was really hoping to paint in this episode, but. As you guys can see, I'm still like knee deep in all the preparation, so that'll probably be the next episode. I apologize if this is what you were waiting for. Just you know, it is what it is. It is what we got to deal with, just because uh, we are in time now. You know, like today is the day that I'm gonna work on the episode. Next episode, guys, I promise we'll be painting. Okay, so just bear with me. Just bear with me. So to finish up the day, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these three engine mount brackets uh if you will all right guys so this is where we're at we got everything pretty much ready to go the engine brackets on both sides they got wire brush so they got a nice sheen to them we got all the nasty corrosion off of it i'm pretty sure that these are stainless steel just raw stainless steel uh brackets so they obviously don't have that high gloss mirror finish to it but as they're not polished and all that business, but I believe just wire brushing them and leaving them raw will be fine. We'll see. Hey, look, it's cool. Yay! So anyways, I'm gonna do a, another pass on the vacuum, and there's a few things else, like I might remove the water pump and you know little various things that are easy to reach so that I can get paint underneath all that, because I'm gonna be painting all the, the wood portion, all that white as well. That's gonna be white. So yeah, this is where we're at today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode hope you enjoyed the video hope it was entertaining enough uh i know you want you want to see you want to see this white you want to see this nice so do i <laughs> but it is what it is so i appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys next week and hopefully these fingers will have uh white paint instead of dirt dirt all right i'll see you guys next week <laughs> all right now i'm officially calling it one more power wash afterwards and this is what she's looking like I'm gonna let her dry up. We'll leave her like this until uh, until it's time for paint. And when that day comes, we'll vacuum one more time. We'll hit it with that denatured alcohol and straight to the paint, dog. <laughs>